Grade 6 math number 10.6, problem solving two-step equations. Anybody who's seen several of my videos knows that when we do problem solving, we do word problems. And when we do word problems, we like to choose a strategy so we can work backwards, solve a simpler problem, choose an operation, use a model or a formula, or draw a diagram. In this one, we're going to work backwards and use formulas, okay? A formula. So this one we're going to subtract and divide, and that's how we're going to work backwards. Tala orders five identical blouses online. She pays $8 for shipping, and the total cost of her order is $148. So solve the equation. 5B plus 8 equals 148. She's got five blouses plus $8 in shipping, and the total was 148. So what do we need to find? 5B, we need to find B. B is the price of the blouses, each blouse. What information do we need to use to find it? The fact that there were five blouses, the shipping was 8, and the total was 148. We need all three of those, don't we? And how will we use the information? We're going to subtract and then divide. We're going to work backwards. So if 5 blouses plus $8 in shipping equals $148, and this is a plus 8, we're going to subtract the 8. 148 minus 8 is 140. Now we've got 5B equals 140. What we're going to do is we're going to divide each side by 5 to isolate the b and get it all by itself. We divide 5 by 5 and 140 by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we get a b, just one b. And then 140 divided by 5, because that's what fractions are, they're just little division problems, right? 140 divided by 5 is 28, and we find out that each blouse was $28. Okay? That wasn't that bad, was it? All right, here's adding and dividing. Bob buys three hot dogs for himself and two friends. He uses a 75 cent off coupon for one of the hot dogs. The total price after the coupon is applied is $4.80. So here's the equation. 3H for hot dogs minus the 75 cent coupon was 480. So what do we need to find? We need to find H, the price of each hot dog. What info do we need to find it? The, that there were three hot dogs, that there was a 75 cent coupon, and that the total was 480. And how are we going to use it? We're going to add and then divide. See, we've got 3H minus 75 cents. So we're going to add the 75 cents back onto the 480 to get rid of it. 480 plus 75 cents is $5.55. See? Now our equation says 3H equals $5.55. We're going to divide each side by 3 to isolate the H, the variable, so it's by itself. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so we have 1H, and $5.55 divided by 3, doing long division on the side, comes out to $1.85. So we know he paid $1.85 for each hot dog. See? That wasn't that hard, was it? All right, here's using a formula and adding and multiplying. The formula for finding an object's weight on Mars, M, when you know its weight on Earth, E, in pounds, is m equals 3 eighths e. That means the Mars weight is equal to 3 eighths Earth's weight. So if an astronaut weighs 150 pounds on Earth and the spacesuit weighs 110 pounds, what would be the combined weight of the astronaut and the spacesuit on Mars? So here's our equation. We know that the Mars weight is equal to 3 eighths the Earth's weight. So we plug in the 150 and the 110, we need to add them, and then we're going to have to multiply them to the 3 eighths. 150 and 110 is 260, so now we need to multiply 3 eighths times 260. 3 eighths times 260 over 1 is how we write it as a fraction because we want to multiply fractions. 3 times 260, we do a little math on the side, we get is 780. And 8 times 1 is 8. We have 780 over 8. So now we do our long division, and 8 goes into 780, because that's what this is, is a little division problem. It works out with long division to 97.5 pounds. So we know that the astronaut would weigh 97.5 pounds on Mars. That wasn't that bad, was it? Were you able to follow along? Did you see how we did that? And it was a couple of steps to the problem, wasn't there? We had to subtract and divide, then we had to add and divide, then we had to use a formula and add and multiply. But it wasn't that bad. Like I always say, 
the big huge problems are really just a bunch of little baby problems, right? They're just a bunch of small problems that we can slowly attack and get rid of. So even with this one with the formula and adding and multiplying, we just took it one step at a time. We added the weights, we did the multiplication, did the long division, and it was real easy to find the answer, okay? You can do this. It's not really that hard, okay? Try it. I bet you'll be fine. See you next video. Bye.